In light of the inherently dynamic and complex nature of economic systems, economists simply cannot predict the future. Some of the key factors which contribute to the status quo are 1. The adaptive expectations hypothesis, as per Kagan in 1956 or Nerlov in 1958. Simply put, individuals form their future expectations based on past experiences, and as new information is available, they adjust them. Thus, the behavior of economic agents changes right alongside expectations, a constantly evolving system that is pretty much impossible to model and predict. 2. The efficient market hypothesis, as per Fama in 1970, which illustrates that financial markets very quickly incorporate new information into asset prices, making it highly unlikely to consistently outperform the market. Predicting future economic trends becomes challenging at the very least, since new information is very quickly accounted for in market prices, which doesn't leave a lot of room for forecasting. 3. Chaos theory and nonlinear dynamics further complicate economic forecasting. Researchers such as Lorenz in 1963 have shown that seemingly minor differences in initial conditions can even lead to dramatically different outcomes in the economy and other complex systems. This quote-unquote butterfly effect, or if you will, sensitivity to initial conditions, makes long-term predictions unreliable, as an ever-so-small dose of uncertainty and or error can have a game-changing impact on outcomes. And finally, four, external factors like political decisions, geopolitical challenges, technological advancements, pandemics, and natural disasters can and do influence economic systems, as per Tetlock in 2005 and many others. All in all, it is imperative for economists to set the right goals with respect to what they wish to achieve and how, with Frank Schilling and I covering this wisdom-oriented dimension a fair bit in our Omnia Vincit book.